the President has directed me to work with the Secret Service to provide protection to Robert Kennedy Jr. Well, that's fantastic. A really smart decision, young man. And it's gone. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. will no longer have Secret Service protection after pausing his 2024 campaign for president in 10 of the battleground states, but vowing to still run in November on the ballot in all other 40 states. President Biden had instructed the protective agency to provide security for Kennedy last month after the failed assassination attempt against former President Donald Trump. Kennedy had publicly and privately lobbied for Secret Service protection for months citing various security scares and suggesting that political motivations were behind the delay in his getting it. At one point, Kennedy's legal team claimed to have received evidence of 34 instances of threats or concerning screeds against him. Kennedy's uncle, President John F. Kennedy, and father Bobby Kennedy were both assassinated in the 1960s. Technically, Kennedy's name is still being left on ballots in less competitive states while he is widely expected to join Trump again on the campaign trail at some point in the near future. Law enforcement sources stated on Sunday that his Secret Service protection was ending after his suspension in 10 of the battleground states, and the agency later confirmed it. Those who fall under the protection of the USSS are the President and Vice President and their immediate family members, former Presidents, First Ladies and their children until the age of 16, visiting heads of state and top presidential candidates. Some are furious and took to social media to claim the move is to put him more at risk after his brutal assessment of the modern Democratic Party in his speech, suspending his campaign. The Secret Service has been under enhanced public and congressional scrutiny after a series of events following the security failures that led to the attempt on the former president's life last month. When candidates for president drop out, it's standard procedure for their protective detail to be pulled, but RFK Jr. is technically still in the race and has not ended his White House bid. I think that it is absolutely absurd and appears to be retaliatory for the Biden administration to revoke RFK's Secret Service protection. After how heated this election season has already been, especially after the assassination attempt on Trump, it is important more now than ever for Kennedy to have Secret Service protection. The Democrat Party have proven to have violent supporters within their party, evidenced by the Palestinian protests and the BLM riots, with Antifa causing destruction across cities over the years. I am advocating for Trump to pay for RFK's security detail, in which I am more than confident that Trump will be doing something similar to this in the near future.